Hello guys, so today we have two syndicate cards and two NR cards. So first NR uh, pack and last syndicate. So I'm gonna quickly recap syndicate and I'm gonna go quickly through the NR cards. And I promise today, Mercer, today is gonna be for sure less than 10, 10 minutes, hours, damn it. So the first card we have here is Captain Yago, an interesting syndicate pirate deck. Human pirate, deploy gain as many coins as you spend this turn. Uh, fee, one boost an allied pirate by one so this is kind of like a refresh your coins something like this uh deploy refresh your coins which most of the time or like 90 99 percent of the time you want to use it as uh, profit nine profit nine is worth around i would say uh five six provision so basically for se six for seven six provision you get a seven point body and a spender uh but of course the combined abilities are usually worth uh, more so started it's probably well started uh it's a nice spender that is hired to kill but requires another unit which might be awkward sometimes but it's it has fee one so you know sometimes you are in these situations when you have only like spender two so you uh, like waste one coin but on the other hand sometimes you have situations like with see jackal where you can get more than uh, one point per one coin so this is this is eh. uh, so the design of this card is quite elegant and it's fine uh, gaining nine uh, nine coins and instantly have a spender as well in spell for it that's pretty nice the problem is that sometimes in a short round or in some very weird situations when you don't have spenders and you got a lot of coins and then you play this because you don't have any coin spenders you might end up with like 713 that is a spender which is absolutely horrible so um, this is a little bit weird card i think it could have been maybe 12 provision 13 is a lot and syndicate has a lot of good expensive cards so i don't know if it can squeeze but in some pirate decks i can see it i'm gonna definitely test it uh it's fine it's okay but nothing too flashy and i'm not sure how competitive this card is uh, but it's always nice to have a big body and if you can get it in like a jackpot where you can like uh spend coins use jackpot and then gain so many coins this is insane so this card is can be extremely powerful in uh, jackpot we'll see maybe this will ruin the game it will be this powerful in jackpot so i can't wait to try it there uh, let's see to the next card and the last uh, card for Syndicate that I saw a lot of people uh, called Bat, which a little bit surprised me. Uh, so Crime Profit 5, spend all your coins then play a unit from your deck with a provision cost up to the number of coins spent. So this is a Vivaldi's Bank that is worse. Basically Vivaldi's Bank uh, lets you play whatever and gives you 5 profit. This this is much worse but if you have four coins it is a perfect card to play in golden necker deck and golden necker deck was extremely good because vivaldi's bank was nine now vivaldi's bank is gone and i think this is kind of a replacement for vivaldi's bank it's much worse because you you waste a lot of coins uh, but it's also much cheaper because it's at seven provision. I can see this card play, and I it also if you just play it for five, it's like thin your deck by one for five, and also it's a crime. So sometimes you have uh, like intimidate support or like a uh, coin generator. It's like it's sometimes you just don't want to don't have any coin spenders, but you have coins, so you can just use this card. So. Uh, I think it's a little bit underrated. It's not powerful, definitely. It can ruin you. Sometimes you are at like six coins and you don't want to use this and you have to use it. And then you just waste coins, which is horrible uh, because you cannot go above nine. But I think it's a good addition to Golden Necker decks. And that's it. And then we are going to NR, a last faction that we haven't seen any card for. Human Aristocrat Soldier, which is very important. Boost three bronze units in your deck by one. The first time an allied unit uses its order each turn, summon a random unit with the same power from your deck to this row. So this is pretty 
interesting because uh, if you have like it's on on play it's kind of bad because it's six power do nothing in theory but if you play against the greedy deck and you start using all of these orders every time you can summon like five ten five okay ten not but you know you play this in the first uh, as a first uh, thing in the round, long round three uh, then you um, play some order uh, some order card with zeal for example and you summon something from your deck it's it can generate so much value but the problem is it's at six power which means that all of the cards like parasite just kills it which is very very awkward so you probably want to uh, either play it together with some card that will survive so you have to have like some order card that always survives which might be scary or it might be hard to do but on the other hand there is you always have something with order in an R, you have so many of those. Mm. With the same power, it's what I also like. I I have to think about it because what I ha what I like about it is that you also have to think during the deck building how to make this deck work because you want to have everything on the same power. So maybe you play like commandos and you get one. It's probably gonna be something similar to like a multi generator deck that you boost everything to the same power and you summon it and this deploy helps you align all of it or maybe you want some uh, you want some specific card maybe we can invent some meme that you know you boost something to like oblivion you use its order next to ravenhold and you summon like another card with some a lot of points you know maybe you like boost uh, your baron to 10 power you click his order and it's summoning like living armor for another 10 points because uh, this is not restricted to uh, neut neutrals or like nr cards it's also not restricted to with provision it's also not restricted with uh, golds and bronzes so this card can be scary in uh, in some situations but it's very vulnerable so it's a very interest uh, interesting card it is definitely a card that can single-handed win you a game. That's for sure. Uh, okay, let's go to the next card. Ship Ballista. Order damage on enemy unit by 2, then boost a random non-boosted unit in your deck by the excess damage dealt. Increase the damage for each time you use an order ability this turn. So most of the time you want to uh, play this card with something that can give it zeal. Because if you if this card if you set up this card and then it dies you are sad. The thing is though this card is also uh, bronze so you can play two of those and it's also like a six power uh, range. So it's you if your opponents use like parasite on this card you are kind of happy about it you know. Uh, so this is interesting also card because it uh, mix two ideas in one which is like a carryover and boosting with damage and with like siege engines and machines which is kind of interesting and mm, interesting to see it's really hard to judge this card uh, but it can probably generate a lot of a lot of points uh, but also it boosts a random non-boosted unit so it will be really hard to target specific card and then you have to draw that card so maybe you boost everything in your deck by one with cards like this uh, the previous card uh, and then you s target something specific that you can aa uh, aa like amphibious assault but i don't know it's very weird it uh, requires a lot of setup and it requires specific deck probably with siege engines and a lot of and arbalist maybe with a lot of orders and then you can get a nice boost on random card which might be awkward so maybe you want to play a lot of spells or special cards very weird card but an interesting because it's doing something new with known archetype so i can't wait for to see what people will uh, cook up with it and especially with Re Reven and Kimbolt. I'm excited about these cards. We will see how it will look. Thank you very much again, guys. We will see each other next time, which will be uh, on Monday, on, on Tuesday. Bye!